everyone. Back out again. And uh, yeah, in a beautiful place. As always, every place is beautiful. Out with the menace. Yeah, she's back. <laughs> Tick free, I should say, as well. Yeah, it's quite late in the day. I say late, it's about six o'clock. But uh, I wasn't going to come out tonight, to, uh, this weekend. I've got quite a few reviews to do, so I thought I'll just film them. But one of the biggest reviews is uh, an item that keeps you warm. So the only way I'm going to review that is by bringing it on a camp. What is it I hear you say? Yeah, it is a sleeping bag. I'll go into it more when I uh, get the tent up and I get everything packed into the tent. Because it's at the bottom of the bag at the moment, so... But uh, it is a proper Four Seasons. Proper winter sleeper bag. So... Give it to be, I think they said six degrees, but that's like between six and seven in the morning. But uh, prior to that, it's around about eight to be all night. So, not the chilliest I know. It's not freezing, but it's still cold to the bones. <laughs> And I don't do cold. Yeah, I'm kind of back at the quarry, but uh, it's the closest thing to me at the moment. And I, like I say, I wasn't planning on doing a camp this weekend, so. And I thought, get the sleeping bag done first, get that out the way. So I've opted for the quarry. <laughs> but uh, it is beautiful here. Can't knock it. Every time I come here, it puts a smile on my face, you know. Absolutely stunning. try and give it the best test that I can about being high up and out in the open rather than sheltered by trees and stuff so just getting my breath back there's a bit of a climb up here oh. The last time I said about putting these poles up when you push them up, didn't explain really why. And uh, if you're putting them together and you're pushing them out, you're putting all that strain on the last maybe two or three bits of pole. If you push them up, give them a bit of a wiggle so they all catch. By the time you fetch it down, centre, there's no strain anyway. Yeah, guys. Uh, this is the sleeping bag that I've been on about. It's, you can see that, Mountain Warehouse. It's a Microlite regular length and it's a 1,400 mil fill so it says here comfort minus 4 to minus 11 extreme temp is minus 30 
I don't believe it's minus 30. So, and it's coming in at 1.8 kilogram. So it's by far not the lightest. And uh, yeah, I was uh, I wasn't giving it. I was in Mount uh, Mountain Warehouse in Wrexham, off Island Green there, and uh, we were talking and. Uh, he asked what I did for a living, so I said uh, nothing. <laughs> Not with my back issues anyway at the moment. But I mentioned to him that I've got a YouTube channel. And he said, oh, what in what field? So I said, while camping. And his face lit up and he said, like, this is £80 or £85. I'm not sure, it's one of them. Say £80. And uh, they've got it on a, a sale for 49 at the moment. Yeah, £49 if you go in and buy it now. I won't say what he gave it me for. I did pay for it. But uh, yeah. What is there? Sorry, I left the tags on. See? It's down as £80. And it's £49.99 if you go in and buy it now. I don't know how long the sale is on for, but with it being 1,400 microlite. And it's definitely a four season, especially with it saying it's, it's comfort at minus four to minus 11. So, and uh, the bloke I was talking to, or the owner I was talking to, I, I do apologize. I didn't ask your name and you didn't give me your name. So, but uh, there's a, a lady there as well. I don't know if they're partners or not. I don't know. I'm sorry if, uh, if I've overstepped the mark there, <laughs> but uh, yeah, they are so helpful. All the times I've been going there and I've been asking questions and they straight away giving you answers and what's best. If that's better than that one, they'll tell you. If it's better and cheaper, they'll tell you. They have, they have been brilliant with me. So, yeah, next time I'm in there, I will definitely ask your name. I'll give you your name a plug as well. But yeah, he's asked me for no review at all. He just said, can I mention the shop? So. I said, put it this way, if this keeps me as, because I don't like the cold, if this keeps me as warm as what I'm hoping it's going to be, I'll give it a stunning review. I, I did pay for, the, uh, handed some money over for this as well, so if it's crap, I will tell you if it's crap. Yeah, this is it now. It's a, a mummy bag and uh, kind of goes with a tent. <laughs> But on the inside, it does have a collar, you know, that fits around your neck. So, yeah, and I'm just going to let it air out a bit now because it's been compressed in that uh, compression sack. So, yeah, it is pretty thick. Yeah, just have a look now, it's 6.50, 10 to 7. Cheers for me. Oh, I'm treat. <laughs> Any time she talks to me. <laughs> From about five o'clock onwards, I put me uh, me rucksack in the car, and she clocked me. Last not last, as I was just going through the front door, she's been a nightmare ever since. She bounces up and down everywhere. <laughs> yeah, I bought a couple more of these. I bought another one the same colour. And a, a black one. So yeah, made up with this. Yeah, absolutely amazing. <laughs> and y'all know me by now. It's coffee time. I've always got time for a coffee. Wow, that's hot. <laughs> yeah, today is Saturday, the 24th of September. It's the Saturday again. I went out from last week on the Saturday. But uh, Friday, the last two Fridays, I've had to have uh, family commitments. That it's, I've just been too tied up, you know, to go out. But uh, I will be out either the Friday or the Saturday. So I always post the video out the day after, on the morning, I, I get home. So, yeah, it'll either be the Saturday or the Sunday that you'll see it. But all my videos, whenever you, whenever they go live, it's always been the night before that I've camped and filmed. And then you get it the next day. So, yeah, I'm pretty good at editing. 
No. <laughs> love the peace, the tranquil and it's just nothing, no cars, no people, just me and my dog, <laughs> she's looking at me so, oh yeah I'm quite excited, looking forward to the night's sleep in that. I was not an island because it's a it's a, like a mummy sleeping bag, aren't they? They sort of trap your feet, but that doesn't seem too bad at the bottom end, and it's eighty across the shoulders, so it's pretty roomy. So yeah, quite looking forward to it. And yeah, for tea tonight, I just got them beef noodles again. See, so it wasn't planned to come out tonight. It was like last minute things. So we just grabbed what was in the cupboard, easy to cook. So yeah, we're having beef noodles. And a Jaffa kick. <laughs> oh, hey, Andy. Uh, oh, yeah, I forgot to, as I meant to tell you as well. I'm going to try a few camps now uh, with no alcohol. Because uh, the last couple, I really haven't enjoyed it anyway, because it's cold liquid going into your body. That's making you cold before you get into your sleeping bag. So I just brought extra coffees and uh, a bit of extra water. So I'm going to have coffee all night. Keep warm drinks in me and, yeah, see how that uh, if that bends any better. Yeah, that's what I'm having for my tea. <laughs> Just gone seven o'clock now and uh, yeah, the light is starting to go pretty quick. Yeah, I'm so glad for the stool getting myself off the ground. As, uh, when I was putting my sleeping bag, uh, my mat in, uh, my foil mat in, I leaned out on the ground for a little split second and I got damp knees. Nearly 20 past 7. I've just had my uh, beef noodles, they were really nice. I do enjoy them. Got a little bit of a kick to them, so yeah, they're quite spicy. Making sure everything's alright on the perimeter. <laughs> there you go. Hmm. Yeah, it's you talking to you. Made myself a, a double choco mocha. Oh. Cheers, everybody. Oh, that's quite nice. <clears throat> I did ask for uh, hot chocolates, but uh, it came back as a uh, double choc mocha. <laughs> but it's not bad. And it's coffee with a chocolate taste. Yeah, the night's going now. I'll probably get in the tent now because it's starting to get a bit grainy probably now, the, the footage. So I'm going to have this coffee, watch a bit of uh, stuff I got on my phone. And uh, should anything happen, well, I'll come and say goodnight to you. <laughs> yeah, hey guys, try not to blind you. Six o'clock in the morning. And I still can't believe how dark it still is. Morning starting to come through now. Good morning. Got everything on my back now. A bag of rubbish I'm taking with me. There she is. There it is, just a bit of flat grass. No rubbish whatsoever, and as always, guys, L N T. Always, and it's not just me; it goes for everybody. Hope you enjoy this one. The sleeping bag.
Oh my god! I've, you, you always hear that, that expression, I was warm as toast and everything, but it was like sleeping with the electric blanket on you. Oh my god! I ended up zipping it off and using it as a duvet and I, <laughs> I didn't even say goodnight to you last night. I fell asleep, I, I got in the sleeping bag about 20 to 10 and I don't remember much after that. I've had to charge my phone this morning because I left, I left it on. <laughs> so yeah, and uh, say it was quarter to 10 when I fell asleep and uh, yeah, I woke up 10 to 6 and that was straight through. I was boiling off when I woke up and I was like, wow. And I got out the sleeping bag and it was like, oh, that, that's cold. Checked my phone and it was five degrees. So is it a true minus four to minus 11? Could be. I don't think it'll go to minus 30. So I don't think any sleeping bag goes to the extreme that it says. But yeah, as a minus four, a good winter bag. Yeah, thank you very much. It's awesome. And the uh, Mountain Warehouse, if you go there now and get it, it's $49.95. So thank you very much, Mountain Warehouse. Like I say, I did pay uh, money towards it, so it wasn't uh, given me. And that's my honest opinion, guys. I know it's not a down sleeping bag and it's not the lightest, but for the money, wow. Yeah, it's just as good. Take care, guys. And as always, how beautiful is that? Take care, guys. And as always, look after yourself and be safe. Take care for now. Until the next one. Bye.